Hi guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. This week's video is just a bit of a nail play um, that has been inspired by the little shop of horrors. I don't know if any of you cast your mind back and can remember it, but it was a bit of a sort of fun, spiffy kind of horror film back in the day. So um, let's jump in and get started. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've got my little tip all ready to go. It's on my stand. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead, jump in with some Neo Neil. This is Homecoming. It's a beautiful, soft gray. Um, the coverage in this here is incredible. Um, most of these here, you really only need one coat, but I'm gonna go in with two just to have that sort of nice base. So while that's curing, I get my palette out and I have turquoise, unripe olives and seaside forest. And I pop those under my palette and I'm just going to remove off the tacky layer or the inhibition layer of the gel polish and then taking a little sort of cut up white block I'm just going to go ahead and buff up that nail you can use um, obviously matte gel polish if you want but I just went ahead and sort of buffed it up um, but so what I'm doing now is I'm actually just going to draw an outline off the little plant um, the the head of the little sort of plant and um, just with some of the turquoise and my nut mug detailer brush and then once I have that all filled in I will go in for a flash cure just to kind of hold that in place Okay, so whilst that's curing in the lamp, I'm going to get some of this beautiful Emerald City glitter from Nail Sugar. And I'm mixing it up with some tack free top coat and just sort of like really mushing it in there um, with my little spatula. And then just using an old sort of nail art brush, I just left a blob of that there and start to kind of work it around the shape of my little sort of plant head if you will um, I'm just getting all of that turquoise covered um, with the gorgeous green glitter so it looks absolutely gorgeous um, and then once I have that covered then I'll go into the lamp okay so I have loaded up my palette once again with a multitude of colors whites reds blacks some un uh, unripened uh, olives and some turquoise and um, all different sort of colors there so I'm just going to start now by adding some detail this is all pretty self-explanatory um, what I'm doing here but to give you sort of a few tips what I would say is if you um, the lighter that you go with your brush the more fine of a detail that you will actually get um, so keep your your brush sort of nice and light whenever you're using it um, like I say you will get a much 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 finer detail that way and don't forget to obviously remove any excess off as you go along um, and I should also say as well um, obviously because there's a lot of detail work in this here um, I have been flash curing sort of between um, each color and each little bit of detail so once you're happy with something just pop it in for a flash cure at least that way it will hold it for you and then after you're finished all your detail then you can actually go in for a full cure but I'll just let you carry on and sort of watch me just adding some of the little details in because like I say this is more of a nail play and just kind of something that I decided to get the camera out and record and one thing I will say though is that all of the products that I've used um, will be listed below and I do have a discount code in case you're wanting to treat yourself to any lovely Neo Neo gel polishes. These are also great for home users as well too um, or any even any of the bling line gels. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're pr for professional users only but the code and the website um, to the little nail shop will be linked in the description box along with Neil Sugar's website as well too so I'll just keep quiet now and just let you keep on watching me adding all the little bits of detail.
Hey guys, so on to the next design I have Evening Walk Hot Cocoa and Rosy Brown. I have put a layer of Rosy Brown down already and cured it. And now I'm just going in with Evening Walk and Hot Cocoa. And um, I'm just sort of blending that down. So I am. I have put some of the Rosy Brown down too as well. So um, as, bef as I usually do my ombre, I sort of start at the top, work my way down with my ombre brush. I do have a video on ombreing that I will link again below as well for you guys if you want to go check that out. I absolutely love gel polish ombres now. I couldn't do them before, but I got my own kind of way of doing it. But um, I will then pop that into the lamp. And I've actually put some matte top coat over this as well. So that's why it's looking very matte because I did go in with some matte, um, matte top coat just makes life a whole lot easier whenever you're actually doing some detail work. Um, but like before, you can just remove the inhibition layer and give it a bit of a buff. But now I'm doing um, some design for the brickwork um, of this here nail because I kind of want it to look like um, the outside of this shop, if that makes sense. So just going in with my detailer and I'm putting little sort of random lines um, here and there. And um, I'm not doing them all the way across the nail. I kind of just want to give more of that sort of softer illusion look. If anything, I kind of wish like I had have went in with maybe more of a sandy color rather than the bright white. Um, I think it would have probably looked a bit more aged and I don't know. But do you know what? I like it anyway. So um, it's fine. But so once I've cured that, then I'm going back in with my detailer and some of those colors that I had on my palette before. And I'm just going to start doing some little vines and some details. And um, once I'm happy with that, then I will go in for a cure. Okay, so moving on to the next stage. Um, this is my Neo Nails Foil Adhesion Gel Polish. I absolutely adore this stuff. It is so good. If you haven't got it, you need to get it, um, especially if you work with foil. So um, I'm just painting on now um, what would be sort of like a dripping blood kind of design. And um, it's a lot easier whenever you're working on top of the mat um, because obviously you can see the shininess of what you're applying so much better. So once I've cured that for 30 seconds, I then get some off my um, my red hollow foil. This is just from my own personal collection um, that I have um, uh, in my nail art kit and um, I apply that and what I can do then is any little bit sort of a foil that have fell down I'm just kind of rubbing those off and tidying that up with a lint free wipe okay guys so there we go that's the designs all top coated and finished um, I hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun doing it. Like I say, it was just an impromptu nail play, but I thought that I would film it, bring you guys along, and uh, you could just sort of watch me have a bit of a sort of nail art session, which was so much fun. So um, thank you guys so much indeed for watching. Um, please do like, subscribe, um, leave me a comment down below. I love reading through all your comments. And um, yeah, so just have a great week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget all the uh, links are down below and your discount codes as well too. And I will be back again next week. Bye.